again, and welcome back to the ADHD Friendly Podcast. I'm Patty Blenderman. I'm an ADHD coach and your host of this podcast that explores things with an ADHD friendly lens. Today, I'm going to be talking about Mother's Day, and I'm doing it in my new podcast corner. It's a work in progress, but I'm excited to have a, a cozy, sparkly new location to podcast from. And so I'm hoping over the coming weeks and months, you'll see it change as I introduce new things to make it work a little bit more ADHD friendly for me. But on to our topic for today, Mother's Day. And I have a question mark here for Happy Mother's Day because for me, I don't find it an ADHD friendly holiday to celebrate. And this year I realized going into Mother's Day that it's the first time in my life that I actually don't have parents that are still alive to celebrate Mother's or Father's Day. And it's the only relief that I have felt, the only benefit, if I could call it that, even though that feels a little uncomfortable to not having them here anymore is that I don't have to try to navigate all of my executive functions towards remembering to acknowledge them, to send them a card, to send a gift, to remember to call them that day. Uh, it's just always taken a lot of effort and it's a sense of relief not to have to try to meet that expectation anymore. And so that led me into my own exploration for what do I wanna do with that realization? And I realized I don't wanna celebrate Mother's Day personally. I wanna let my kids know that I don't need a day in the year that is designated as quote unquote Mother's Day for them to in some way demonstrate their love for me. I know they love me. I find it a relief not to have to navigate everything towards that one day on the calendar. And I don't want them to feel that pressure if that doesn't work for them. So I actually told them that this year and also gave them permission if it does work for them, because sometimes having a specific day works better. That can be ADHD friendly. If you're not trying to think of another time or, you know, at some point in the year that you want to make sure that your mom or your dad, if, if it's Father's Day or, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the person who is really supporting your, your growth in your life, whoever that may be, if not having a specific day to do that would be more difficult, maybe having a day would make it more ADHD friendly. For me, it wasn't. So I just told them to let it go. If it doesn't work for them, if it does, that's absolutely fine. But I, I ended up doing a dive to get the story behind where did Mother's Day come from? So I, I wanted to share the history that I found on history.com about Mother's Day. So it was a concept that was conceived by a woman named Anna Jarvis. And she saw Mother's Day as a day of personal celebration between mothers and their families. And she really saw it as just a, a day to come together and be together to celebrate the mother. But once it became a national holiday, which happened in 1914, due to a lot of her lobbying efforts, it wasn't long before florists and greeting card companies and chocolatiers and candy makers and other merchants capitalized on the popularity of celebrating mothers. By 1920, so just six years after it became the national holiday that she was seeking, she actually became disgusted with how commercialized it became. And that's really the root of it for me too. It's the expectation that I need to go buy a specific card. I need to go find a gift that speaks to how I feel, demonstrates my love for my parents. And so she actually, by the end of her life, resorted to an open campaign against Mother's Day profiteers. She spoke out against confectioners. She spoke out against florists. Um, and by the time of her death in 1948, she had disowned the holiday altogether and even actively lobbied the government to see it removed from the American calendar. Wow. How interesting for somebody that was really passionate about honoring mothers to just be so disenchanted by the commercialism of it. And I find that's true for me with Mother's Father's Day and Valentine's Falls and that for me as well. I don't like how everything's kind of marked up and 
takes advantage of uh, trying to honor and celebrate something in a positive way and making money on it. Um, one example I wanted to share, and this is a Father's Day example, but it, it kind of highlights some ADHD challenges. So this is a mug that I bought for my dad for Father's Day about hmm, probably going on eight years ago now. I have it because I never mailed it. I'm really, um, I, I'm very challenged by mailing things and it was in a box. It was in my car, in the trunk. I got it all, you know, kind of done. And I drove around with it for almost a year before I finally took it out of my trunk and just decided to call my dad. I think it was the following Father's Day. And I said, you know what, dad, I'm, I'm honoring you by drinking out of the coffee mug that I bought for you last Father's Day. And every time I drink out of the coffee mug, I, I think about him. So it, it served a, a way for me to connect to him and remember to call him and check in and see how he was doing um, whenever I would use it. But it was also a reminder of the expectations that with my brain wiring were really difficult for me to succeed with. And the relief that I have now that I don't have to do that. And I'm releasing my own children from the expectation that they need to do that as well if that doesn't work for their brains. So I just wanted to share as Mother Day, Mother's Day is coming up this weekend, some thoughts about how Mother's Day can be ADHD friendly if it, if it again, reminds you to celebrate your mom in a special way, but it also could not be ADHD friendly if you, the executive functions required to succeed in meeting those expectations of honoring Mother's Day are maybe not at the level that makes it easy to do that. So prioritizing it, planning it, blocking out the time to do something, all of those things can be really difficult when we have ADHD. So just keeping in mind, if those are challenges for you and you do wanna honor your mom on Mother's Day or your dad on Father's Day, what would you need to do to be able to do that with more ease? How can you create a, a plan for yourself to be able to do that in a way that feels very honoring for your mom or your dad, but also works within your own executive function skills so that you are able to do that and feel really good about what you decided to do and how you were able to implement it. That's all for this week's ADHD Friendly Podcast. Again, I'm Patty Blinderman. I appreciate your coming and checking out my podcast. If you like it, I invite you to subscribe, follow me where you listen to your podcasts, and as always, have a wonderful ADHD-friendly day. Tally ho.